Yeah, so this is a short video to show how we can uh, bring in data that will enter from a question from a set of questionnaires to uh, access and then import to SPSS and begin to do the analysis, you know, thereafter. So we have launched SPSS, ready to go, and then uh, this is file. We are going to bring in that data. So we go to open data, and then you search for where the data is. The data in my system here is located. Uh, yeah, I'm having it right here. I am going to let, uh, load the data for students. So I say open, and you can see the data are here. Now, this is the variable view here, and then this is the data view. Uh, there are, well, about 3,000 students. So let's begin by doing the analysis. You go to analyze. We just want to report some frequencies. So you go to frequencies and you have on the left all the variables in the study and the variables that you want to analyze, you can throw into this uh, box here. So let's assume that I want to look at desktops, the availability of desktops in the schools in Lagos State. By the way, these data are all from Lagos State. So I come to this place here. Uh, I assume I want, uh, uh, it's asking me that I display, frequ display frequency tables. I actually want uh, the, let's see, uh, the format, uh, compare variables, uh, okay. So, well, what is giving me here is that I have uh, for desktops this, but that's not exactly what I want. Yeah, so I have uh, analyze, I have descriptives, frequencies. Uh, yes, I want you to display the frequency tables. Maybe some charts. I want you to display some bar charts. And I want only the percentages rather than the frequencies. I ask you to continue and I say okay. Now the results uh, as we have it here is telling me that there are 113 missing cases, 3,444 3, in total. And what you should concern, what you should be concerned with is this last but one column, the value percentages, because that it will have partialed out the missing data. So it's telling me that let's take the about a third, 30% of the students confirm that the desktops that they have in their schools for e-learning are very adequate. And about 10% uh, say that in spite of the thing being adequate, they are still not accessible. So that's how this table can be read. And then you have the graphs, as you can see, repeating what you, what you have in there. There's an, Aberrant thing here, SS3 is in data entry, which we can take off you know, at some point. So just adequate, very adequate, as you can see on this. You can also modify this graph to make it look nicer. So what you do is, let's assume you want to change the, the bar. You click on this, uh, the fill is here. You can fill with blue. And uh, if you, the bar options are here in terms of being stuck the field and border, the variables, the categories, the chart size. So if I apply this, you can see that the color has changed to, to blue. And then we can close. Let's see some other nice things that we can put in there. Chart size, we've done that. Bar options. Yes, the bar, all of that. Depth and angle, say depth and angle. If we want it to be, to have a shadow or a 3D effect, we can do that. And the you can raise this to no, 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 it's fine. So let's see this 3D, but let's do it some shadow, shadow effect, and it comes like that, and then we we'll apply it and we we'll say close. So you can see that this chart has been transformed. You can also move this to your Microsoft Word file by just highlighting. If you right click, it will copy. You can copy the chart and then you go to where's Word now. You can create a new f file and then paste it there, and you can begin to report uh, as you as you so wish. So that is how we uh, we, we analyze using the frequencies and also having these graphs. Let's take analysis a step further. 
by uh, doing some cross tabulation we are interested in the differences in the results by type of school that is public or private by location of school that's urban and rural or by the gender of the students but male or female let's do one of this let's analyze this uh, the availability of desktop computers or let's even say uh, uh, laptops so we will do a cross tabulation the cross tabulation we want to do with uh, laptops laptops will be by column and then we'll do type of school public or private here so what we'll do here i'm going to combine uh, two things i'm going to do, combine some inferential statistics along with the normal data so let's look at the cells now i don't want to see the observed i only want to see the column percentages uh, yes yes so we're okay here and then the statistics i want you to do a chi-square test to find out whether the differences are statistically significant or not so when i say okay it all gives me the data so what this is telling me is that private schools students in private schools i judge the laptops in their schools to be very adequate compared with public schools students that say that for only 44 uh, 44 percent of the private sc public school students confirm that they have adequate laptops uh, regardless of that the public school students are saying yes we have laptops 44 percent of them have lap uh, of the of them claim to have laptops but half of them say those laptops are not accessible almost the same number uh, are saying that the laptops are not accessible in the private schools are these results that we are seeing differences we are seeing here are they statistically significant that's why we have now recourse to chi-square test and the person chi-square is telling us with a value of 26.25 recall that you make these two decimal places so this becomes 25 26.25 the p-value which we have here is 0 0.000 so this p-value being 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05 now this is confirming to us that this result is statistically significant and they come to the conclusion that the perception or the assessment of public and private or students in public and private schools on the availability of laptops is statistically significant that's how we interpret this we'll continue our next lesson on the on the on the next steps with regard to this analysis